hello and welcome back guys to the channel i hope you're doing fine so right here i don't know this is called silverfish that's the time i was also told it's called anchovies i hope i pronounced it well otherwise uh, whatever way you call it it does not matter all i want to show you is how to make a very nutritious porridge for babies for you out there who has a child who has a baby who, who is probably not feeding well and you know you're trying you so hard to make sure that your baby feeds well here we i'm going to show you the, how we do it in my village how we make it at home we don't even have to buy it so we make porridge with this thing here and guess what it is really really nutritious i hope you all know that so before we dive into this guys if you're new here my name is Eunice and hey make it a point to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and give the video a like who is coming to rain in the clouds <laughs> unfortunately unfortunately my kitchen is small so my little sister is there cooking so we cannot share the space with her that's why we are out so we have to do this very fast before it start pouring straight away guys i'm going to set the fire all you have to do is to make sure that you have this one already cleaned yeah clean but you make sure it is hot like and dry so what we're going to do is to put it on fire and roast it just a little bit then i can show you what follows so guys let's set the fire and because i don't need uh something very hot i think you notice the fire what i'm using like it's really light the fire doesn't have to be too hot otherwise it might end up burning so that's the reason i'm using these small pieces of wood instead And trust me, if you try this on your child, you're going to notice in just like two weeks, when you feed your child on it like frequently, you're going to notice a difference. And there we are guys, my fire is set. Let me just put the pan to heat up a bit. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roast it in bits. I don't want to pour it full in the pan. So let's save that one. And of course, guys, there's some aroma that comes out of this. <laughs> really nice. So this will not take long on fire. We're actually almost carrying it off. Oops. So I'm going to carry this off and wait for the next lot. I don't want to burn. so guys i'm going to leave it to aerate a bit because there's a way it dries and becomes really okay crunchy i don't know if that's the right word to use and because i want to pound it so that's the best that i want it in crunchy let's leave it here to sun dry just a bit oh my chicken is going to disturb it so let me just put it up as I rest the next one. So 
So guys, what I'm going to do right now is to make sure that I pound this and get powder out of this silverfish or anchovies or whatever you call it. So this is the crunchiness I talk about, like it's dry. And also this is good to do it in bits. So I'm going to, first going to put a little, pound it, get the powder, then add more. When you put a lot, it's hard to do it. So guys, for you who, who have the access for um, maybe markets where they sell this already processed, yes, you can go ahead and buy. But of course, when you have the access to do it naturally like this, this is more nutritious because it has no preservatives, as we all know. And it's really, you know, like, it's really healthy. Trust me, if you try this out for like two weeks, I can guarantee you'll come back and say thank you. Hmm? <laughs> I think you notice it's easier to pound it I told you when you put little but when you pile a lot it becomes so hard to pound it so guys let me first um I don't know which one what how am I supposed to say sieve I don't know if it's sieve or something but I want to get the flour already out of that kindly please help me that word eh? <laughs> which which is the right word to use when I want to when I want to make powder out of this, like I want to pour this here and get powder. Is it sieving again? Please let me know in the comment section. It's windy, so I don't want to leave this thing up because the wind can easily blow it. But I think you notice something pouring there. And it's really fine. That, trust me, does not hurt your baby's tummy in any way. Very smooth. So for these rough particles here, I put it back here and pound again. So this is not only for babies, but um, even a big person can take it. But preferably, you know, babies cannot eat something solid. So that's why we go ahead and process it to this fineness. But if you also enjoy your porridge with this, go ahead and make it. You're surely going to like it. You can check out the nearest shop near you if they sell already fine like this. I know most of you might not have the access to all these things, the mortar, the silver fish and whatever. So this one I'll just go ahead and pound it. And then I also add in this one and pound again. So for this flour right here that I've just made, this you can either mix it in maybe a soya flour or even millet flour. Personally, I'm going to do it with this. I wanted to sample you with this. This is millet flour. You know, our millet is like our staple food. So we have a lot of it. Like we never lack millet. So that's the reason I have this at my disposal. But if you have soya or whatever flour, maize flour, like any flour, you can just mix this 
and make a really really nice tasty porridge for your child or even for yourself and surely you're going to love this hmm? so i hope you've learned something otherwise ah huh? <laughs> let me know if you've ever taken porridge made out of this hmm? how do you guys make it do you have any experience of using this let me know in the comment section guys others for us this is how we make babies healthy porridge very nutritious and very very organic guys thank you for watching if you're new please make it a point to subscribe